We live in a beautiful world, but we're destroying it with something called deforestation. Hold on. What is deforestation? Deforestation is the permanent destruction of forests in order to make the land available for other uses. An estimated 18 million acres of forest, which is roughly the size of the country of Panama, are lost each year. There are many causes of deforestation. Half of the trees illegally removed from forests are used as fuel. Some other common reasons are to make more land available for housing and urbanization, to harvest timber to create commercial items such as paper, furniture and homes, to create ingredients that are highly prized consumer items such as the oil from palm trees, to create room for cattle ranching. Forest Facts Forests cover 30% of the Earth's land. It is estimated that within 100 years there will be no rainforest. Agriculture is the leading cause of deforestation. One and a half acres of forest is cut down every second. Loss of forest contributes between 12% and 17% of annual global greenhouse gas emissions. If the current rate of deforestation continues, it will take less than 100 years to destroy all the rainforests on the earth. The rate of deforestation equals to loss of 20 football fields every minute. There are more than 120 natural remedies in the rainforest which can be used as medicines. According to Rainforest Action Network, the United States has less than 5% of the world's population. It consumes more than 30% of the world's paper. The overexploitation of forests is making it extremely difficult to, de to replant a new ecology. 20% of the world's oxygen is produced in the Amazon forest. Up to 28,000 species of expected are expected to become extinct by the next quarter of the century due to deforestation. 25% of cancer's fighting organisms are found in the, in the Amazon. 13 million hectare per year in South America and Africa and Southeast Asia is converted from a forest to an agricultural land. Deforestation has considerably stopped in places like Europe Pacific. Another economical effect of deforestation is the potential care that would have to be taken of the animals left in the rainforest. With the threat of animals becoming extinct, the Western World and Protection Program set up for the rainforest put much emphasis on the protection of animals. As a result, if there was a distinct drop in the population of one species, there would be much funding going towards reintroducing the species. And as a result, there would be much more money spent on numerous species with a threat of extinction. Deforestation is considered to be one of the contributing factors to global climate change. The number one problem caused by deforestation is the impact on the global carbon cycle. Gas molecules that absorb thermal infrared radiation are called greenhouse gases. If greenhouse gases are in large enough quantity, they can force climate change, according to Daly. While oxygen is the second most abundant gas in the atmosphere, it does not absorb thermal infrared radiation as green gases are, do. Carbon dioxide is the most prevalent greenhouse gas in 2012, accounted for about 82% of all U.S. greenhouse gas, according to the Environmental Protection Agency. Deforestation in Salta, Argentina Deforestation that has caused flooding in Salta. In the, in the aftermath of the disaster, several environmental and social groups have claimed that widespread deforestation in the province contributed to the deadly flooding. Recovery efforts were underway after deadly floods killed at least seven and damaged around 1,500 homes in the province. The storm caused flash floods in several areas of the province, leading to fatalities and widespread damage to infrastructure. This included an aqueduct, leaving the municipality's area in the northwest of the province. Despite much deforestation in the past, the northwestern Argentinian province of Salta still has more than 6 million hectares of native forests. 
land use conversion for agriculture is threatening these forests and the survival of indigenous populations and small-scale farmers.